Today I am trying something I have not tried before. This could go amazingly well or epically awfully but either way I'm gonna give it a shot and I'm gonna film it so let's go. I have an idea in my head of the style I want to draw in and it's not a style I've necessarily drawn in before so I figured this is a fun way to involve you guys and also a fun way for me to practice and also if you're watching this video and you aren't already subscribed to my channel please press the subscribe button. It's 100% free for you to do and it helps me out a lot and I'm very close to 50,000 subscribers so that would be wonderful. First person I'm going to draw is Grace and Grace has as you can see kind of mid-length blonde brown ombre-ish kind of hair with glasses. Let's just try shall we? I don't really have any direction I'm going to go in. I'm just going to wing it. That's my favourite thing to do you know. Just winging it. It was at this precise point that I pretty much stopped talking to the camera because I was heavily concentrating on what I was doing. So as you can see here, I'm just sketching out a rough idea of what I want Grace to look like. I did actually go on Instagram and Pinterest for some ideas on how to draw cartoon style people because at this point I quite frankly needed all the help I could get so yeah once I came up with a basic idea I then had to tackle the glasses. I think I actually managed to do them okay um, so as you can see I'm just using a mono line pen tool um, it's just in the calligraphy section on Procreate if you're interested. Um, and then I'm just going around and doing a rough idea of where I want the placement of the hair and the jawline and kind of just the whole drawing. I don't know, but as you can see, I'm moving things around, rubbing things out, and it was a lot of trial and error. Once I get the eyes sorted, I once again reduce the opacity of the drawing and now I'm going over it with the final lines. So for the hair, I'm using a brown coloured pencil and then you'll see that for the skin, I do the same. For the glasses, I'll use brown and for the lips, I'll use like a dark pink shade just so when I colour it in, the lines don't stand out too much but it still looks like a cartoon. So now it's time to colour everything in. So I've created a layer below everything and coloured it in with a skin coloured shade. And then I'm just going in for the whites of the eyes and drawing the eye shape. This was the bit that I found the hardest for this drawing. I was expecting it to be the glasses as usual, but I just couldn't get the eyes right. I kept having to go onto Pinterest and Instagram for inspiration on how on earth to do these eyes. So hopefully they look okay in the end. Let me know what you think. Much like I did with the glasses, I actually just copy and paste over the eye and then kind of flip it over just so I know they are completely symmetrical and I don't have to try and draw them again. Now I'm doing the mouth. It took me a while to get this right. I think I did this version and then rubbed it out like at least four times. Now I'm just adding a little bit of shadow so I can give the face some definition. So I'm just going down the side of the face, under the chin, under the nose. And I also added some rosiness to the cheeks, which I thought added a cute little touch. After drawing the details on her shirt, it's onto the hair. So I'm using the same principle. I'm using the base color and then I'm getting a darker shade for the shadows and a lighter shade for the highlights. And of course she has the ombre. So I'm doing a little bit of like a mucky blonde on the bottom, blending it in a little bit and then trying my best to replicate her hair. There we go. That is my final drawing of grace i actually really really like that i'm well impressed with how that's turned out to say that's the first ever time i've done a drawing like this so <laughs> that took me about three hours i'm gonna do like two more i think i'm gonna do one guy and then do another girl and then hopefully if you guys are enjoying this video i can use the other photos that i got sent and do it again i am actually super impressed with that and i think the hair is okay there's definitely room for improvement i'm not the best at hair 
like I said, if you have any tips, please let me know. But for now, we're gonna go on to the next person. It's the next day. I don't have any makeup on today because I couldn't be bothered to put it on. So you're just gonna have to deal with that. So today I am going to draw my wonderful pal, Dorothy. She has an absolute heart of gold and she is gorgeous. So we're gonna draw her today. I'm gonna put a YouTube video on and I will set it to a time lapse. I figured yesterday I didn't actually speak to you that much. So I will check in as and when I have an update. And here we are again in the sketching phase. This time it didn't actually take me as long to do the sketching because I actually had an idea of what I wanted to do. So I was very happy about that. But as you can see, Dorothy has really, really long braided hair um, up in a high ponytail. And I kind of used two photos of her to reference. There's this one where you can see all of her hair and then the other one is the one that I kind of based the final image from. So once I'd got the basic hair shape, I flick back into the other image as you will see. Again, once I've got a basic drawing down, I lower the opacity and I'll draw over it again. So I'm using a skin tone colour for the jawline, the neck and kind of the bottom of the drawing. Then again, I colour it in. I did this backwards again, I'm not sure why I did it and then got rid of it because I realised I needed to do the rest of the outlines. I was getting way ahead of myself. So I'm using pretty much a black colour on her hair because obviously she has really dark hair. And then I'll go back in, I'm using a red for the outline of the little bobble and a dark pink kind of red shade for her lips. Now onto the eyes and the kind of colouring. I hopefully am getting the hang of this at this point, but I was just perfecting the shape. I decided to do some kind of lower liner and then add the lashes later on. This looks so creepy when it's not got the pupil of the eye in it. Oh my God, I really don't like that. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna let you get on watching this. So I'm just gonna do the eye like I did before, duplicate it over and then do the details, colour everything in and get onto the shadows. How beautiful is that pop of red on her eyes? I love it. Oh my God though, this nose ring took me forever to get the hang of. We're now on the final stretch. You can hang in there guys. Thanks so much for sticking by me and watching this video. I really appreciate it. But as usual, I'm just clearing in the base color and then I'll use a darker shade and a lighter shade to add a little bit of definition. But first onto the shadows and the details. So I'm just adding some kind of collarbone shadow, shadows, shadows and some near the eyes and just deepening up anything I've already added and then going in with the hair, trying to do these braids. I think they turned out okay. Again, let me know what you think. Um, I was trying not to do too much because obviously I do want to keep it simple and cartoon-like, but I wanted to represent the fact that she has the braids in because they just look so good. So I don't know. I think I got there in the end, but I also added the little kind of cuff things that she had in them. They probably have a proper name, but I thought that was really cool and made it even more personal. So here I am just drawing the little cuffs, which was a cute little finishing touch. And this is the final cartoon drawing. I actually love this one. I think this could possibly be my favourite one. I didn't actually film an end clip for this because I was still drawing it at half 11 in the evening. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think I'm kind of obsessed with these drawings now. And yeah, let's get on to the third and final one. It's day three. We're on to the final drawing and this is going to be a boy. I wanted to make sure I was drawing a guy to try and mix things up and make sure I am practicing all kinds of people. I will say though, don't know how I'm going to do the beard. But. So this is Yuki and his girlfriend actually volunteered his face for me to draw for this final one. So thank you very much. I actually forgot to record me doodling this, but that doodle looked 
very very dodgy so you'll see that I kind of vaguely follow the guidelines but just do it completely differently so yeah again trying to tackle the glasses not having the best time still hate drawing glasses but I think we got there in the end and then to be honest it's the same process as before so I am gonna speed it up even more and leave you in peace with some nice music watching this final drawing There we go, that's it. That is all the drawings done. That took me so much longer than I thought it was going to, but I actually really, really like how they've all turned out. The one I'm not too sure on is the final one, the one with the guy, because I'm not sure. I've quite mastered the art of drawing beards. So if anyone out there has any tips on drawing a cartoon beard, let me know. I tried to like search things on Instagram, but nothing was coming up and most of the things coming up were girls. So yeah, that's something I definitely need to work on, but I really enjoyed doing that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. That really helped me out. And also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. We are so close to 50,000 subscribers and that is my goal for this year to hit 50,000. So help me out if you can. Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye. <laughs>